Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and tonight's episode is going to take us back to Iraq on episode 36, and it's being brought to you tonight by Sunrise Linens. They are my good friends over in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And you know what? Actually, I just picked up a couple things for my girls, uh, some some uh, egg-collecting aprons, because they, when they ever go, they go up to Grandma's house, they like to go visit the, the chickens and collect eggs, so that'll be a nice little item for them to have, and if you, too, would like to look at something similar to that, you can head on over to etsy.com slash shop slash sunrise linens. Look, they're, they're a vintage vibe clothing business and it's handmade quality clothing. And if you use the promo code TOH25, you're going to get 25% off your order and do like I do and follow them on Facebook and Instagram because you'll see new designs, new patterns, new sales, new uh, new deals. You never know. Never know what you're going to find. Head on over there. Do it. Sunrise Linens for nostalgia and wandering. And now, a tale of honor. Michael A. Monsoor was born on the 5th of April, 1981, in Long Beach, California, to Sally and George. As a child, Michael suffered from asthma and managed to strengthen his lungs in the family's swimming pool by racing his siblings. While attending Garden Grove High School, he played tight end on the school's football team and graduated in 1999. Soon after high school, Michael went on to enlist in the U.S. Navy on the 21st of March, 2001, and attended basic training at Recruit Training Command Great Lakes, Illinois. Once he graduated, Michael went on to Quartermaster A School and then to Naval Air Station Siganella in Italy. In September of 2004, Basic Underwater Demolition SEAL Training Class 250 would graduate, and Michael was one of its top performers. He then attended advanced SEAL courses such as parachute training at Basic Airborne School, cold weather combat training in Kodiak, Alaska, and six months of SEAL qualification training in Coronado, California. In April of 2005, Michael was assigned to Delta Platoon SEAL Team 3, and his rating changed from quartermaster to master-at-arms. In April of 2006, SEAL Team 3 was sent to Ramadi, Iraq, in support of Operation Kentucky Jumper. Here, they were assigned to train Iraqi Army soldiers, and Michael was a communicator and machine gunner while out on patrols. He was often the point man in front of the platoon, and during the first five months of deployment, the team reportedly killed 84 insurgents. This team was led by Jock Willink and also included Chris Kyle. Michael had ran into continuous insurgent gunfire during a May 9th engagement in order to rescue an injured comrade, for which he was awarded the Silver Star, in addition to the Bronze Star for his service in Iraq. It was Michael's actions on the 29th of September 2006 that saved the life of his teammates and earned him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty while serving as automatic weapons gunner for Naval Special Warfare Task Group Arabian Peninsula in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom on 29 September 2006. As a member of Combined SEAL and Iraqi Army Sniper Overwatch Element tasked with providing early warning and standoff protection from a rooftop in an insurgent-held sector of Ar Ramadi, Iraq, Petty Officer Mansour distinguished himself by his exceptional bravery in the face of grave danger. In the early morning, insurgents prepared to execute a coordinated attack by reconnoitering the area around the element's position. Element snipers thwarted the enemy's initial attempt by eliminating two insurgents. The enemy continued to assault the element, engaging them with rocket-propelled grenade and small arms fire. As enemy activity increased, Petty Officer Mansour took position with his machine gun between two teammates on an outcropping of the roof. While the SEALs vigilantly watched for enemy activity, an insurgent threw a hand grenade from an unseen location, 
which bounced off Petty Officer Mansoor's chest and landed in front of him. Although only he could have escaped the blast, Petty Officer Mansoor chose instead to protect his teammates. Instantly and without regard for his own safety, he threw himself onto the grenade to absorb the force of the explosion with his body, saving the lives of his two teammates. By his undaunted courage, fighting spirit, and unwavering devotion to duty in the face of certain death, Petty Officer Mansoor gallantly gave his life for his country, thereby reflecting great credit upon himself and upholding the highest traditions of the U.S. Naval Service. Two other SEALs were by Michael's side and, although injured, survived the blast thanks to Michael's actions. He was evacuated immediately, yet still died 30 minutes later. His funeral was held at the Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery, and nearly every Navy SEAL on the West Coast was in attendance. And as the coffin was passed by two columns of SEALs, they each slapped down their own golden sealed trident onto the coffin and embedded it into the wood. This went on for nearly 30 minutes, and President Bush later said, The procession went on nearly half an hour, and when it was all over, the simple wooden coffin had become gold-plated memorial to a hero who will never be forgotten. On the 8th of April, 2008, President Bush presented the Medal of Honor to Michael's parents in a ceremony at the White House, and in the following months and years, a street, a Zumwalt-class destroyer, a mountain warfare training camp, a Naval Sea Cadet Corps unit, and a stadium in Michael's hometown, all would bear the name of Michael A. Mansoor. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. And I'm going to ask you to do me, do me a solid, do me a favor. Look, if you like this podcast, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. What you can do for me and for others is to go wherever you listen to it, whether it's on the Apple Podcast app, um, whether it's on Libsyn or Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud, wherever. Just go ahead and leave a nice review, a good rating, and share it. Tell somebody about it. You can see more information on the Facebook and Instagram pages and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. Also, on talesofhonorpodcast.com, you can donate directly to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society, as well as visit our sponsor links. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.